Hello everyone, this is Dunder Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Maximum Venom Miles Morales to Marvel Legends for the Venom Venom Pool uh, build figure. So here you get the uh, Spider-Man Maximum Venom TV series logo there. Um, and then here's the top with the Spider-Man Venomized logo there. Here's the cider of Venomized Miles Morales. And then here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read this, you can. And then here's the other figures in the wave. Same uh, are on the other side there. Uh, and then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack this guy open. And here's Miles Morales out of the packaging. So he does come with the extra hand for Venom Pool and his arm. But we'll go over that here after this. Um, but here he is here. So they did a really good job on the head sculpt here. They actually sculpted in like the little red swiggly lines for his webs for his mask teeth look good i don't see any mess ups in there and the eyes look good too you get a little bit of white bleeding into the red there and you get that little random sculpt in his eye there weird and you get that all the way through the back the sculpts in red paint and it looks like they missed just a little bit from a camera but in person you could barely tell um but um sorry if you can re hear that i live behind the school so there's a football game going on there um then you have this spider logo there it's like the venomized version and it's not sculpted in i would think they would do that especially with all their other red lines and sculpts going through those and then you get more of the sculpted uh lines going through his shoulder and his red stripes and you get a little bit of mis, mis painting there or a little gray or black paint bleeding through. You get more sculpts like veins going through there. And then it starts with red again for his hands. And you get that clawed hands, looks look, which look real cool. And then you get the black on the other side. So that's cool. Uh, same deal on the other hand. And then for both arms, they have these like little fins for his forearm. So that's pretty cool. And then in the back, you get his spider logo here. I think that looks like, I think that's supposed to be the venomized one. It looks a little different from the original one, I think. Uh, nothing else going on through the lower part of him. Same uh, mold and stuff from the other Spider-Man figures. It's just a little bit of a metallic black or gray, whatever you want to call it. But the feet are brand new, so you get like four claw toes and then they're sculpted in with red there and you get more red sculpt going, bleeding through the bottom of the feet there which is pretty cool so they did a good job on it um but i think they did a really good job with look and sculpting for this guy you get a little bit of mess ups there but the sculpts are pretty small so it's gonna be it's, it'll they'll definitely miss some. so for his articulation so you look down that far up that far really good you can look left and right you get a little bit of head pivoting you can also do shift forward and backwards like that with this head your shoulders can go a little past 90 degrees there he can do 360 rotation around the shoulder he has a bicep swivel he has double jointed elbows way past 90 degrees there his wrist can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation there um he does have an app crunch so you can get him to go forward that much backwards that much and when you do go backwards you're missing a little bit of red paint for a spider which will bother me if you're trying to get him to look like he's falling off uh, jumping off a building or something and you're just angling down at him so it'll kind of look like that but it'll depend on your lighting um and then he does have a waist swivel so you can do a 360 rotation around the waist he could kick to the side that far forward quite a bit backwards a little bit he does have a thigh cut his he has double jointed knees so you could pretty much almost do a butt kick probably uh he does have a shin cut here his ankles can hinge down that far i'm a little worried about these little ankles there we go up that far which is a little bit more than usual and he does have a nice ankle pivot and here's the venomized miles morales side by side with the spider-verse miles morales i don't have the 
first Miles Morales figure from, I believe, the Space Venom wave. But I, you see that they're standing at the same height. Um, and yeah. Um, but besides that, I think this figure is awesome. And oh yeah, one more thing to mention. I really hope they do something like this for the elbows for the female characters because this one has like the skinniness of the female characters um elbows and i think they could figure something out for them for double jointed elbows with like this but like you can tell it's kind of a little flimsy so it kind of like wobbles a little bit there but it won't bother me that much i uh, i just hope they fix that with the female characters um especially since my silver sables elbows snapped off and i'm a little worried about the ghost spider elbow with the paint chipping off a little bit and i feel like it'll break at some point but yeah that bothers me a little bit but this one i think they could incorporate something like this for this guy's uh elbow to that but i think they did, a, did an amazing job on the head sculpt and sculpting i wish they had like a little bit of sculpting throughout the spider uh the only thing that i would say that I guess the major one, but it's not a bad one, or it's not going to bother me that much. It's just the paint here, if you move him backwards for the app crunch. But besides that, I think this guy is amazing. And yeah, they did a good job in paint, sculpt, um, and articulation. But that, besides that, that's all I've got. <laughs>